Hello, my name is Tim Weeds, Network Specialist and Google Administrator for Heartland AEA. In this tutorial, we're going to go over advanced settings in Google Groups. At this page here, you can see that we're in a Google Group. And looking on the left-hand side, you can see you can have your members. You have all members, invite members, direct add, and join request. Let's go into our messages. And pending messages. Right here, if somebody has sent you a message that they're not a part of the group, their message will be sent here to this pending messages. Now, an email will be triggered to the owner, and an email will show that if they can approve it or deny the post. Now, there are a couple settings on top that you can choose. One being you can post the message, you can mark it as spam, or you can trash it. The next thing that we're going to look at is going to be under settings. So let's go down and click on settings. Now here are several options under settings. Email options. Now under email options, you can put different things into your email when you send out an email out to your group, uh, like a subject prefix. The subject prefix will be a text that will be added to the subject line in the email notification for all messages posted to this group. And then on the right hand side there it gives you some examples. Under email footer, there's a couple options here. You can uh, check any one of these that you would like. You can display how to post, how to unsubscribe, uh, d display the web page URL, uh, display the URL to, of the posted message, display the Google Groups and how to opt out, or you can add a custom footer text. Under auto replies, a um, couple options here as well. Um, you can go through them. You can do auto enable auto replies for members, non-members, members outside the organization, non-members outside the organization. Um, the post replies here um, is every time when you re hit reply, does it go back to the person that originally sent it, or do you want to go, go back to the actual, or back to the entire group? As you can see, there is several options that you can pick. Pick the best one that best describes your group. Now here under maximum size, just uh, what I would do is keep it as the default. Um, the default is 25 uh, meg. Over here, we're going to look at permissions. As you see, we're at basic permissions. And here, and basic permissions, they have several things here view topics, post, join group, and also allow members external to this organization. As you see here, I have it checked so I can add people outside this organization, like a Mediacom or MSN account. Now, let's go up and look at a few topics. We'll click down on the down arrow here. Now you can see you can check the ones that you want members to view. Make sure you check all the ones that they want. Same down here as a post. And same down here as a join the group. Now here it says public, anyone in organization, only invited users, anyone can ask. Now let's go down to posting permissions. You get a dialog box, just click OK. Now here, it, there's several things here um, that goes into quite the detail of your group here. If you're going to do any changes here, I would definitely recommend you contact your Google administrator or your Google trainer and have them go through it with you. Let's go and access permissions. This will tell um, how people are going to access your group, like they view the topics, view member email, uh, email addresses, um, all kinds of things here. Just make sure that you pick the appropriate checkboxes for your group. Now, under information. 
Let's go to general information. Again, click OK. Here is the general information. Again, just like how you set it up the first time. You get your group name, you get your group email address, um, your group description. If you want change, you can change it there. Your topic types, you can change it. Um, usually, we just keep it as discussion here. Um, your posting options. Um, embedding your group into like a web page. This is your iframe, uh, so you can copy and paste that into your web web page if you have one. Um, normally, uh, you wouldn't have to need to do that. Let's go ahead and click on directory. Right here, this is where you would post your group out on the Google directory if you want it to be. So just hit the checkbox and hit save if you want it to be seen out on the directory. Uh, content control. Um, it just shows if you want to actually archive the messages or not in the group. That's kind of a nice feature to have. Um, a web view. Um, that's if you're going to do a kind of like a knowledge base with your group. And we'll go into that knowledge base in a later video. I'll show you how to do that. 